Peace and love, everyone. Sending you all positive energy, high vibrations, success on your entrepreneurship, all love, all positivity. Today, I'm going to be speaking about the new moon energy. Once we deal with the new moon energy, we're dealing with the moon being the most invisible, okay? The moon is close to the sun than it's ever been on the new moon day, okay? It is also sitting in between the earth and actually the sun, okay? So here's a picture here. And it's basically, it's dark like you can't, you're not going to be able to see it, okay? So... This is the only time that we can have an actual eclipse is on this new moon day, okay? So once we learn the phases of the moon, we just learn the energy of the collective consciousness and also ourself. It tells us what energy to be in, what to tune into, what to cleanse and relief, um, release, excuse me, um, let go and bring new things in, okay? So, this new moon came in right on the energy of Sagittarius, okay? But, let's speak about the moon doing a conjunction inside of Mercury and Venus, okay? So, once we had the conjunctions, we want to just tune into the energy of each planet and what it tells us so when we're dealing with venus we're dealing with love beauty material possessions okay so we want to make sure that we're in relationships that's serving us okay if they're not serving us for our highest good we need to let them go okay we also want to tune into the venus energy of beauty okay um, make sure that we're doing mirror magic we're loving ourselves we're doing self-love techniques we are being bold in who we are okay i always say being bold being brilliant and being your authentic self okay also when we have the energy of mercury Reminds me of Gemini, okay? Communication. So we want to make sure that we're tapping into our social abilities. Being social, meeting different individuals. Two, two, two just was on the clock. Um, being able to get out and be expressive and, you know, listen to um, constructive criticism, you know, just to help us ascend on our journey because everything is about soul evolution so we just want to tap into all the positive things that'll help us navigate throughout our journey smoothly okay and that's what the moon phases deals with also the energy of the zodiac signs as well okay once we find out about the energy of the earth, the sun, the moon, the stars, we find out the energy of ourselves because we are all connected as one and we are all connected to the divine source of the universal planets, <laughs> the universe, okay? Subconscious and conscious, super consciousness, okay? We're all connected. So, um, we want to be able to Make sure that we're doing some self-discernment, okay? We are releasing what no longer serves us as far as relationships, friendships, partnerships, intense relationships, all relationships. So we want to make sure we're doing self-discernment and we're letting go of what no longer serves us, okay? We also are tuning in to the energy of the holidays okay when we think of the holidays it was some things that didn't happen so good so many times where some of these holidays were you know we lost loved ones 
not so good things happen. Um, we lost our ancient ancestors, terrible things happen. But we had to look at things on a bird's eye view and say, well, as something was going bad on this time of the month, it was also something that's going good. I can look at something in a positive mindset to be able to not be in a low vibrating state of mind but if i have lost a loved one i can tap in and put their pictures on my altar and connect with them and put their favorite food up and enjoy the moment as happiness instead of sorrow so we can also do that for us our ancient ancestors okay um thanksgiving was yesterday so happy holidays happy late holidays i hope everyone tuned in into the love vibe to get to eat really good spend times with the loved ones family friends or whoever help us to vibrate on a high frequency of love okay but like i said for thanksgiving yesterday you know i uh found myself as i awakened to spirituality and knew what was going on for as certain holidays what i did was i used to always get really beautiful autumn colors pumpkins you know um orange yellow and brown and i used to make up my altar just for the ancient ancestors had lost that had lost their lives um on thanksgiving you know so i respected the ancient ancestors and i gave honor on thanksgiving to them you know so that was my actual appreciation that i did you know even in sad times we can always make something positive out of it and high vibrating so we won't get ourselves in a low vibrating energy just because someone has passed on and went to another dimension okay because after death there's always life we can still connect with them and tune in and vibrate high and show our appreciation and give nourishment to the soul okay I always be familiar with that so um also we want to make sure that we are um discern discerning our journey okay making sure that we're on the right path okay we're going in the right direction if we keep on having experiences and it just keep on taking us back to one spot like it's repeatedly happening over and over and over again the same thing then that means that we're probably on the wrong path 7 47 on the clock so we want to make sure if the ancestors because the ancestors the universe whoever we might worship they're going to keep putting <laughs> experiences in our face and so we learn from that lesson okay and they say well they have learned now it's time to move on so if you stagnant and you keep on having repeatedly experiences that means to sit down do some self discernment see what are you doing wrong ask for guidance and discern your path okay might me might need excuse me some redirecting okay so we also want to meditate okay once we meditate we tap into our inner guidance okay um, once we tap into our inner guidance it helps us to guide us in the right direction by tapping into our five senses okay we tap into our five senses we're able to tune in into a higher level of consciousness we're able to tune in to a higher level of guidance from our ancient ancestors okay also it's telling us to have faith in the creator whoever we may call on or worship okay if we are in a space 909 on the clock and we feel that we need some guidance okay don't never be afraid to ask the ancestors to intervene okay they're not going to intervene without us asking so we have to ask for guidance and they will help us will um ancient ancestors i am asking that you help me to vibrate on my highest good far as my love relationship you know i'm helping you i'm asking you to help me 
to vibrate to my highest good on my creative abilities. Help me tap into my creative abilities more to be more creative so that I can step out with my entrepreneurship, you know. And you always heard the saying, ask and you shall receive. And it's true. (laughs) <laughs> you might start coming up with really creative ideas, you know, things out of the blue because you've been on downloaded that consciousness and the ancestors have been on help you download that consciousness of creativity into your brain. <laughs> You'll be good. Okay. So um, we always want to be able to trust our journey, you know, and look at things from a bird's eye view and say, well, I might not be so happy for where I'm at, but I'm happy for where I'm at at this moment. And I'm happy for what's ahead, you know? So when we start thinking, well, this is a not so good experience that I'm having at the moment. Think of, you know, things that make you vibrate high to say well i am grateful for you know having the time to be able to sit down in my house and meditate you know some people don't have a house to sit down and meditate well i am grateful for having food to eat because some people don't have food to eat so we just have to think of all the things that we are grateful for and show the appreciation you know and once we do it the universe loves us to show appreciation because once we show gratitude it is amplified back to us okay and not only that once we operate out of a sense of gratitude it's just like we're operating from the harmonizing field so we're connecting with divine wholeness oneness you know love unconditional love and it's great to be in that type of energy okay so just be mindful when we're in the new moon okay we just want to be able to do some self-discernment make sure we're on the right path tune into if our loved ones have passed away for the holidays to tune into getting the altar getting their favorite foods and tapping it in to seeing them going to visit and just be okay with them not being here in a positive mindset and just know you can always connect with them 333 okay also for the ancient ancestors that have lost their lives that is in another dimension you know tune in give them offerings nourish the spirit okay and they love that they love appreciation they love offerings they love to be noticed so that'll be a great thing as well okay and rediscern your path make sure you're going the right way you're not having repeatedly experiences because if so that means you need to sit down do some self-discernment tap into the inner guidance okay don't never be afraid to ask for help okay some of the most powerful the greatest individuals um independent individuals ask for help so there's nothing wrong with asking for guidance okay always be familiar with that also at the end we're in the sagittarius and jupiter energy okay and it was right in around the middle of november the 23rd (laughs) happened right in between the 23rd to the 24th okay we're in the energy of growth and expansion when i think of jupiter i think of huge i think of big because jupiter is the biggest planet okay so we think of also you know expansion okay so we might be receiving downloads of a higher level of consciousness okay more collective Um, ideas you know um, more creative ideas more abundance okay Um, we could have been birthing a project you know and it hasn't went nowhere but now is the time to rebirth another one if it has not start over and come out with another project to put into the forefront okay Um, 
now is the time that a lot of us has been working hard, dedicated, you know, on our sole purpose and on our journey. And a lot of us has been going down a dark path for a long time. Well, now is the time, 1500 on the clock, to receive the benefits, reap the benefits that we are deserving of. So a lot of us is going to be coming into a lot of wealth, okay? When I say wealth, not just monetary possessions, but I'm speaking of all, okay? Money, new friendships, new lovers, everything abundance and happiness and beauty, you know, and because we deserving of it, okay? So every time... I think of Sagittarius and Jupiter. I think of expansion, you know, learning, grow, growing, soul evolution, abundance, great things of all is coming to us because we're deserving of it. And this is a time where, like I said, a lot of people have been working very hard and dedicated on these soul purposes and on a journey and they've been going down a dark path because sometimes these seasons last forever so now it's time for a lot of us to reap the benefits okay so just know that this is a great energy you know make sure you tune into the new moon energy um be positive be love be strong be motivated and stand firm and true into who you are be true be your authentic self okay and i was just thinking you know because i was watching what was it i think it was my youtube excuse me um i was watching i think it was tiktok and one of the collective consciousness they were stating they was like well we don't have to have a PhD to be a herbalist. You know, we don't have to have a PhD to be able to tap into holistic healing. And I'm like, no, we don't, you know. And I was just thinking, you know, as we're on our healing journey, we have so many different herbs. And what's for me might not be for someone else, you know, so that's fine and we have to come to terms with that it's just like certain herbs will not heal me because certain herbs i might be allergic to my body won't take but someone else it can heal them you know so we always have to look at things with a bird's eye view to say okay just because it doesn't work for them don't mean it won't work for me Okay, so that's how I see our soul purposes in our journeys. We all have unique talents, you know, and everyone is not going to agree. And everything is not going to be for everyone. And that's great. But long as we love doing what we're doing, we are vibrating on a high frequency of love. And we are being our authentic self, 18, 18 on the clock. That's all that matters, okay? What's for you don't have to be for everybody else. As long as it's for you and you love doing it, you know, fulfill yourself up and be you. Be bold in your truth, okay? So I love you all. I'm sending you all positive energy. Have vibrations. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and you hit the like button and you leave me any comments or questions in my description below. I love you all. And I'm sending you all positive energy. Have vibrations. Great vibes, great holiday energy, love, peace, clarity, and abundance. I love you and I'll be back with more. Peace and love.